Welcome to this video that's going to teach you more about the creator archetype. If you're the kind of person who's committed to your own personal growth and understand that the introspective work you do on yourself can lead to out to success in all areas of your life and business, then you're going to love this series about the 12 archetypes. Hi, my name's Abigail. I'm an over 40 content creator and consultant, and I help other midlife women align their online identity with their inherent personal identity. I do that through content creation consultation based on personality archetypes and follow through all the way to photo and video production. When you have a deeper understanding of yourself, you're able to more easily recognize patterns of behavior, thought, emotion, and beliefs that both hinder and help your personal and professional journey. With this insight, you're able to course correct and realign the traits and characteristics that are authentically part of your inherent makeup. If you've ever felt like a square peg being jammed into a round hole and just not finding the fit, it's likely you're forcing yourself into someone else's idea of a desirable reality. In truth, we all have unique drivers and motivations that we're born with and all too often, due to a lack of awareness and understanding, we find ourselves pursuing an outcome we don't even want, simply because that outcome was presented to us as the only option. When you realize who you really are, it's easier to define what you really want and start taking steps towards a reality that aligns with your true nature. If you don't yet know your dominant archetype, be sure to pause this video and take my free archetype quiz. It'll take you about 10 minutes to complete and then you can hop back on here to finish this video with more clarity. If you've already taken the quiz and you know your archetype but this isn't the one, head to my channel, check out the playlist on the 12 archetypes and find the video relating to your dominant archetype. So without further ado, let's dig into understanding more about the creator archetype. The creator. Artist, inventor, innovator. Life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. George Bernard Shaw. With the dominant creator archetype, your imagination is naturally active. You're always dreaming up new things, and at times, the flow of ideas that fill your mind flow abundantly and effortlessly. You can generate new ideas and are able to express those ideas into something tangible through inventions, designs, art forms, music, or writing. The part of you that's the creator believes that if you can imagine it, you can create it. Creators personify imagination and inspiration, constantly dreaming up new possibilities and creating space for ideas to freely flow with ease like a conduit to a higher creative source. Creators have the magic touch of both conjuring up new concepts and then transforming those ideas into physical form. The creator in you tends to see mundane things as rich sources of possibilities. If a project stirs the imagination, a creator lets their ideas flow. They connect random or seemingly unconnected items or ideas to create something new and unique. Their outfit choices, home decor, workspaces, organizations, and aesthetics in general portray their inherent creativity and individuality. The underlying story of the creator ends with a manifestation of a tangible form that's born from learning to channel their visions. Creators intentionally design their own lives through their roles as artists, inventors, or entrepreneurs. Creators become frustrated when their skill level prevents them from being able to express their vision in physical form, as well as a lack of appreciation and understanding by others. If they can't find an outlet for their talents, they suffer a fate worse than death. Boredom. Activities and tasks fulfilling to a creator allow them to express their creative vision. They're motivated by making a functional item beautiful and by contributing their creative gifts to the world. Creators don't only express their creativity via obvious art forms, but also by bringing beauty and novelty to ordinary activities in everyday life. The part of you that's a creator finds happiness when your vision is accurately reflected in your creation. A creator is validated personally when others appreciate their creations because a part of themselves is captured in their work. Creators create for the enjoyment of the process as well as the final result because their imagination is sparked and engaged. My hope is that after watching this video, you've got more clarity about the creator archetype. Remember, if you don't yet know your archetype, please be sure to go and do my free quiz over at abigailk.com forward slash quiz. This video will resonate a lot more when you know which archetype is your most dominant. If you'd like to learn how you can use personality archetypes to express your personal brand with more clarity and confidence, check out my class on Skillshare. And now over to you. Let me know in the comments three ways in which you're going to start intentionally expressing your dominant archetype. That could mean changing the way you dress or the jewelry you wear. Or perhaps you're going to take up a new hobby that you've always wanted to do, but you felt others wouldn't approve. 
If it aligns with your archetype, start that hobby. Or perhaps you're ready to make the commitment or to change your lifestyle to bring it more into alignment with who you inherently are. I'm excited to see how this awareness transforms your life.